Two Ways to Improve Arena The arena has gone through many changes over the years. We currently rely on a bucket system where cards are picked among those with similar power levels. Choices can be agonizing, as you might want all three cards or none of them. At the same time, there are also class micro-adjustments occasionally made by Blizzard. This can decrease the appearance of premium cards in the best classes and increase the appearance of premium cards in the worst classes. Unfortunately, these micro-adjustments are rarely announced publicly. For example, we assume based on HS replay stats that the last micro-adjustment occurred on November 5th, the day when pre-purchase patch went live. We know strong cards in strong classes declined in appearance, while strong cards in bad classes increased in appearance. With these two systems, there are currently two changes that could enhance the arena experience for the Rastakhan's Rumble meta. First, let's talk about micro-adjustments and the re-bucketing of cards. Ever since the inception of micro-adjustments, the system has never remained consistent in terms of timing. In Boom's Day, there was a two-month period where no adjustments were made to the arena. In Witchwood, we had about three changes over a two-month period. The bucket system and micro-adjustments aren't perfect. Some cards are clearly stronger or weaker in the same bucket, and some classes clearly get out of control in strength or become extremely weak in the expansion. This is precisely why changes need to be made periodically and consistently. We think having these adjustments happen on a monthly basis is ideal considering there's a monthly leaderboard. Here's a concrete example of what happens when the appearance of powerful cards remains unchanged for too long. Historically, Warrior has been the weakest class in Arena for the majority of Hearthstone's time. Ever since micro-adjustments became the norm, Warrior consistently received positive adjustments and their deck quality is much stronger on average than other classes. With Boomsday, we also saw several premium Warrior cards released. These three cards gave Warrior players the tools to deal with every possible scenario. Have a large minion? Execute it. Have a bunch of small minions? Warpath. Have one mid-sized minion? Dynomatic. Need some value generation late game? Assemble some mechs. Have two mid-sized minions. Let me completely destroy your board with Super Collider. Speaking of Super Collider, let's take a look at its stats. Decks featuring Super Collider have the highest win rates for a non-legendary card. There is at least one Collider in 40% of all Warrior decks. No other class epic card in the top bucket appears this much or is selected as often. Another card to note is Warpath. Warpath is the single most popular class card right now in Arena. It appears at a whopping 70% of all Warrior decks at least once. No other class has a board clear that appears this much. Let's look at the power level of Warrior now. It's been number one for the past three weeks according to HS Replay, and several top Arena players feel the same. We already expect Warrior to be adjusted at some point, but we don't know when. And that's the main problem. At the start of November, we know there was a micro-adjustment, but the Warrior class didn't receive any changes. We believe it would be healthy and ideal to upgrade micro-adjustments at the start of every new expansion. By doing this, you don't allow one class to go out of control and bad classes to remain bad in new expansions. We're glad to see Hunters and Paladins have their stronger cards appear more regularly now than they did at the start of Boom's Day, but Warrior still feels oppressive to play against for the majority of Arena players, and it's doubtful any cards from Rastakhan's Rumble will change that without an intervention by Blizzard. Secondly, we'd like to see the return of appearance bonuses for new expansion cards increased by about 50%. Rastakhan's Rumble is the last expansion before the Year of the Raven ends, and with it, the next standard set rotation. There will be several cards in the pool that dilute the new cards. One of the most common criticisms voiced by veteran arena players about Boomsday Arena was the lack of new cards seen. With no expansion bonus, Arena in Rastakhan will be very similar to the current Boomsday Arena experience. You're probably going to see less than 5 new cards in your new Arena decks, and this won't do much to keep players interested in grinding runs for gold or competing for the monthly leaderboard. New cards pour new energy into the game, but if the experience still feels extremely similar, players will lose interest. Keep in mind that new cards often synergize with each other. Without an increase in appearances, these cool interactions will almost never see play in Arena. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not like we think the expansion bonus should be present for the entirety of the new meta. 
What if we had the bonus for the first month and then removed it after a month to introduce a new meta without an expansion bonus? This wraps up the changes we'd like to see in Arena before Rasakhan's Rumble. We think these changes are consistent with Hearthstone's philosophy. Arena has always been the format where you can experience cool interactions between cards you'd never seen constructed. What better way to kick off a new expansion by showing new cards in the format? As always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll be back with Rastakhan's Arena Report in the near future. Thanks for watching.